Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to the sixth episode here of Balling with Birdcamp, the series where we do this RTG thing using Birdcamp, building squads and trying to have ourselves some fun. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, check out the fifashop.co.uk and make sure you use that code LA5TY to get yourselves a nice 5% discount. And like all the other episodes of this series, if this one can smash 2,000 likes, that would be epic. So do us a favor and smash the like button right now. And that will mean another episode will be out tomorrow. So um, that is always epic. So this is the squad that we're currently rocking. Uh, it's, you know, obviously looking all right. We're trying to build that second squad. One thing that you guys did request is that I um, gave Bergkamp the number 10 role. So like number 10 on his, uh, on his shirt, just so that... It matched up to what I used to wear at Arsenal. So I've done that, obviously, and I've just given everybody else a little number as well. And that sort of makes sense, if you know what I mean. So the numbers have been done. And also, I uh, I went to change all the player roles, but everything is on Bergkamp already. So uh, corners will be taken by him. The possibility of getting an assist, penalties, free kicks and stuff. He gets the chance to get a goal, which is obviously epic. So this is the second team that we're currently rocking. Obviously, nowhere near full. So because we didn't buy any one at the end of the last episode, we will go out now and pick up a couple of players. First off, Buffon is going to be our goalkeeper. I know we've got Marchetti at the moment, but I think we'll, we'll upgrade to Buffon in this second squad. And then Chiellini is going to be our second or our first centre-back for this squad. So it's looking like that. At the moment, we've got a bit of Serie A going on in this squad, but the team will um, have uh, you know some other leagues, and obviously we're going to need some Dutch people up front um, to get Bergkamp that chemistry, but we'll pick them up later on. So we go into our first match, and I've been really, really struggling on FIFA lately. I don't know what's wrong. Everyone I come up against seems to have a really great team. Like, this is a solid team, you know. Inform Hulk. Are you kidding me? Um, so we go into the match, and I'm not particularly confident, but um, I get the ball with Bergkamp straight off the bat and try a shot out, you know. He's got a silver keeper, so I was thinking maybe we could possibly get through. I, th I figured I tackled him there, but obviously Holt is just strong, and he managed to get past me. Sorry about my phone right there. Uh, but this right here is why you should always chase the ball down. As you can see, Wijnaldum or Wijnaldum was chasing it down. Bergkamp then chased it down when the keeper parried it and he gets that goal in the back of the net. Not a pretty one, but a goal nonetheless. Now, I've got Gambarini and Ogbonna at the back and they were made to look so slow right there. I don't know what it is, uh, but even when I play like defensive or ultra defensive, my players at the moment just sticking so far up the pitch. Does anyone know how that can change for me because I'm struggling so much. Um, Bergkamp then takes a shot, accidentally hits it on his weak foot and it just crumbles wide. Uh, again, my defence made to look slow. That is a Barté right there. I just do not understand how they can be made to look so slow. Uh, they're not low on fitness or anything like that. Uh, but Bergkamp straight away does respond with a weak foot finish uh, to make it 2 all. Um, and, you know, we're back in the game. So, obviously, we started things off by going 1-0 up. And we go into the halftime break at 2 all. Fairly sort of even match. He's probably had slightly more of the game than I have. Uh, going into the second half, then, not a lot really happened, to be fair. He did sort of get this little opportunity here. Terrible defending by me. Because that is probably my worst area on FIFA at the, at the moment. Is just trying to defend. Uh, but we couldn't really find a gap in his defense. He was obviously quite good at it. Uh, but we did get this little bit of space and I thought, this is it. This is the winner. And he hits the inside of the post. It goes across goal and goes out. And that was going to be his hat trick right there. So that was me um, just completely done once I'd seen that. We ended up drawing this game 2 all, And of course, I ended it as a draw because I have to. You know, we have, we have to class this. Uh, we, you know, we have a, a match bonus for a draw, so I have to take the draw. We get one goal pack, but no extra coins right there. Uh, the only coins we do get are from the two goals that we scored with Bergkamp himself. And, of course, we've got that one pack to go ahead and open. Messi on the front, and it rolls round, and we ended up getting absolutely no one, as always. Um, but we'll keep the consumables and all sorts of stuff, as, as you know, we tend to do. Because contracts and healing cards and stuff are always quite useful. So going out to buy a couple players for that second team actually we're only going to buy one right now and that is Bakary Sanya with a shadow chemistry style on him and as you can see right here uh, we've also put Leroy Fair into the squad he is actually going to feature in the second squad as well as that first one uh, I'm not sure if he'll get full chemistry because this one is a CM in a CDM 
uh, and stuff like that. So we'll see. Uh, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Maybe after he's played them 10 games, um, he will get the loyalty bonus and stuff like that. And he'll automatically have that 10 chemistry. So as you can see at the moment, Bergkamp there on 18 goals in 9 games. So that is 2 goals a game, which is obviously fantastic. Go into this match and I'm like, oh my god, we've got 2nd in form at Tweedy, we've got in form Alaba and a really, really strong team in Boateng, Hummels, Cavani, players like that. Uh, the PSG version of Kabai as well. And this guy was good. A um, couple of minutes in, he'd already had a shot and started testing my defenders and this was a very one-sided game. He plays it through. Alaba is all the way up the pitch. He manages to get the shot, but we do save in the ninth minute. In the 11th minute, however, he plays it through. Cavani just nips it through to Menez. Smashes it top corner. We're 1-0 down after 12 minutes, and I was fuming because at the moment, I just I can't defend right, right, right there. I was holding off because I thought he was going to try and play a pass through. He takes a shot. It comes off the post. And Cavani sticks it in the back of the net. And we are 2-0 down. And that just did not go down well for me. So with Bergkamp right here, I do try a little bit of a, a skill run as such. Or just a couple of skills really. And uh, take the shot. I thought that was hitting the back of the net. But it just went wide. So frustrated because that was actually quite a nice little run. Valbuena gets through. Everyone seems to get through my defense just so easily at the moment. It's really demotivating because it stresses me out when I'm playing FIFA. And I just don't really want to play. Um, when things are going like this. So, you know, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying, and eventually I'm sure I'll get better. But just the dribbling stuff from Valbuena just absolutely owned me, and he slots it home um, with a finesse shot, and I just ugh, I couldn't see how that one was actually going to go in, really. But Van Ginkle just gets past his defender and smashes it home. 3-1. At least we get the one goal in before half time, which is... Um, it was a little bit of a boost for me, but uh, we do go into that halftime break with a 3-1, um, well, 3-1 down, and he is absolutely, yeah, ripping me a new one in this uh, in the first half, especially. We get through with Bergkamp, we take a shot, but it just gets blocked. Look how many defenders and midfielders he's got around my players. I could never get any space. Look at it. He has just got a brick wall there, and I'm struggling so much. Um, I'm not sure is he playing on defensive or ultra defensive or something it just looks like such a difficult thing to get past Bergkamp there did manage to get past but not past the keeper unfortunately Menez then uh, manages to hit the post and somehow we hit that one wide I thought we were going to knock that into our own net but that was the second half it really didn't have much to offer uh, and he does beat me 3-1 so Yet another episode where we're struggling for a win at the moment, which is really, really frustrating. I'm not sure what it is, um, but it's definitely down to me being pretty poor at FIFA. Now, we pay ourselves that 2,000 coins for the goal that um, Van Ginkle scored for us. And this is where we're currently at. This is going to be the end of the episode. So if you have enjoyed so far, I'd really, really greatly appreciate it. If you dropped a like on the video, make sure you leave a comment as well. Who should we buy at the start of the next episode for that 4231 squad? Let me know down below. That is what I want you guys to do. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.